Good morning, students. Now, HS Second Year Mathematics. We are doing integration on our new process we have started that is integration by partial fraction. So, exercise 7.5 is going on. Now, we do the remaining sum of the exercise. So, in 7.5, first sum yesterday we have done. Now, we will do question number 2 that is integration. 1 by x square minus n dx. How to do this sum? Again, I want to repeat. This is the procedure of solving this one, of finding the value of integration. But remember, it is not the only procedure. Here, we can do by other procedures also. Okay. Now, in this procedure, condition is there. Condition is that the denominator can, should be in terms of some factors and power of x in numerator should be less than the power of x in the denominator. Ekhane eta condition j nichekta ke factor ke lekha jabe. Jaman x square minus 9. We can write this one as x plus 3 into x minus 3. Likha jache. Second, numerator j x j power sheta denominator teke kom hote lagbe. That is the condition. Okay. Now we can break this one as 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 dx. So that is the condition criteria for partial fraction. Now we will try to write 1 by x plus 3 into x minus 3 is a by x plus 3 plus b by x minus 3. See, I have written this one is a by x plus 3, b by x minus 3. Now, we can do the simplification. This is equal to a into x minus 3, b into x plus 3. How we have done this one? Multiplying each term by x plus 3 into x minus 3. Pathekta term ke a term diye multiply korlaan. So, eta ke multiply korla kete 1. Eta ke jodhi kori ta hole a into x minus 3. Eta ke jodhi kori ta hole b into x plus 3. Now, we have to find the value of a and b. Technique is there for x equal to minus 3. Why x equal to minus 3? Why not others? Because if it is an identity, it is an identity, here it will be valid for any values of x. x er j kuno value jonno eta milbe, tar jonno eta nam identity. So, ami liklam x equal to minus 3. Can we bani lam? If we put here minus 3, this term will vanish. We can get the value of x. So, then it will be 1. If we put here minus 3, then it is minus 6a. And this one term will be 0. So, a is what? Minus 1 by 6. Now, for x is equal to 3. Then, if we put x equal to 3, this side to again 1. If we put 3 here, 3 minus 3 0. So, this term will finish. Here it will be 6b. So, what will be the b? Value of b is 1 by 6 only. So, you see that this term we can write 1 by 6 into this plus 1 by 6 divided by x minus 3. So, we can write this one as minus 1 by 6 integration that is dx divided by x plus 3 plus 1 by 6 integration dx by x minus 3. So that is our main target of doing this one. That procedure of writing in this way is called partial fraction. What advantage we are getting? That we can split this one into these two part. Now what advantage is there for getting this one? What is the thing? Why, why we have done? Because we have one formula. Denominator is there. If numerator can be written as differentiation of denominator, then value of the integration is log modulus that value of denominator. This one we know. 
Here you see that if we differentiate this one x plus 3, only 1 will be there, that is 1 into dx. If we differentiate this one, we will get only 1. So that is our motto that this we should get so that we can write the value of integration simply like that. So it will be minus 1 by 6 log modulus x plus 3, 1 plus 6 log modulus x minus 3 plus c. So if I take 1 by 6 common, then we will find log x minus 3 by x plus 3 plus c. So this is our question number 2. So see the procedure, how we have done, how we have proceeded. Okay, so we will do for next one. In next question of this question it is written integration prime x minus 1 by x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 dx see we have three three terms earlier we got only the two terms x square minus 9 we have written here what will do of course same procedure prime x minus 1 by x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 this to tell if we write a by x minus 1 b by x minus 2 c by x minus 3 our target to write in this form so that we can easily integrate then after simplification that is multiplying each term by this one then left hand side only this term right hand side a into x minus 2 x minus 3 plus b x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c x minus 1 into x minus 2. So this thing we have written that is our partial fraction procedure. From that we can write this one. Now choice. Let x is equal to 1. Why 1? This term, that term will vanish because 1 minus 1, 0, total this will go, this will go. So we will get if 3 into 1 is 3 minus 1, it is 2. And here it will be 1 minus 2 is minus 1, this is minus 2, that is twice a is equal to a, twice a is equal to 2, so a becomes 1. Now if we put 2, then you see that this side it will be 6 minus 1, 5. If this term will vanish. This term you will find 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. B. This term is 0. So B is what? Minus 5. If we put x is equal to 3. Then here 3, 3 is 9 minus 1. A is equal to this term will be 0, this term will be 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 minus 0, 0 into anything is 0, total term they will vanish. Here 3 minus 1 to 2 and it is 1, so it is twice C. So we get C as 4. So we get A as 1, B as minus 4, C as 4. So we can split this way and it will be is equal to integration dx divided by x minus 1 b is minus 5 take minus 5 outside dx divided by x minus 2 c is our 4 so 4 integration dx by x minus 3 so that is our main target now see numerator is differentiation of denominator we can write this as log modulus x minus 1 this can be written as log modulus x minus 2 this can be written as 4 log modulus x minus 3 plus c. This is according to the rules of formula of this one. If I take 5 as power of this one, it is the logarithms property that anything outside this can be taken as power of this one. So then we can get x minus, better we write in a modulus, x minus 1. This will go x minus 3 by 4 
divided by x minus 2 to the power 5 plus c. So this is our answer. And this we will do. So these things we have to get how we are doing and what is the technique we are applying. Why name is given as partial infection. Now we will do the next sum. That is question number 4. So see this that procedure is what that is the main thing you have to follow then automatically your all these things you can do here it is given x divided by x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 and dx so this is our question number 4 as usual we will write all these things that is x divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. This. So according to partial fraction, what we can write about this one? That this can be written as a divided by x minus 1, b, x minus 2. That is our target. That's why name is given as partial fraction. Now simplification, if we multiply each term by this three product, it will be x is equal to a x minus 2 x minus 3 plus b x minus 1 x minus 3 plus c x minus 1 x minus 2. So these things. Then you take let x is equal to 1. Why 1? Because this will 0, this will 0. So that will give this side to 1. That side minus 1 and this is minus 2. So it is 2 I say. So A becomes as half. If we take x is equal to 2, then this side it is 2, this is 0, this term will be 0. Only here 2 minus 1 is 1 and this is minus 1, it is minus B. So B is minus 2. If we take x is equal to 3, then this side it is 3. This is 0, that is 0 and this will be what? 3 minus 1 is 2 and this is 1. So twice C only. So C we will get as 3 by 2. Now we will replace here all these things. This is A by x minus 1. So A is half. You write half integration dx by x minus 1. Then B is what? Minus 2 dx by x minus 2 c is what 3 by 2 so it is 3 by 2 integration dx by x minus 3 now our procedure of doing this one half log modulus x minus 1 minus twice log modulus x minus 2 and this last one log modulus x minus 3 plus c you can skip here or you can mark all the logarithm and it will be this is in power half this is power in two so x minus one to the power half x minus three to the power three by two whole thing divided by x minus two square so this plus c is our answer so see that is that's why we will do this partial fraction and you try to do the little sum your response is required if you are silent if you don't say anything it is the very problematic so try to respond also and give your attendance in comment box yes that's much for today